All right, so now let's look at uploading very, very simply to YouTube using the clip chat button. This is incredibly straightforward. So we're first of all just gonna hook up our YouTube account. So we're gonna go back to our dashboard. We're gonna go to show all settings. And down here, we want to allow upload to my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just authenticate off screen with this. And I'll pull this over so you can see. I'm just gonna go ahead and click allow. So now my YouTube account is all hooked in. I'm gonna click apply changes and we are done. So if we head over to the documentation again, just so we know exactly what we're doing, remember that we have this output option. So we chose S3 before, but of course we can now just choose YouTube. Now this is incredibly straightforward because all we need to do is in our case, we're gonna get rid of S3. We're gonna set the output to YouTube. So that is all we have to do to have exactly the same functionality, but now our video will be uploaded to YouTube. And of course, what we're doing now is we're still using our on upload complete callback and we're doing a console log on the video. So now we can see what gets returned from that. And that's really cool. So let's go ahead and upload another video. So let's go and pull this one over again and submit it. Wait for that to prepare. We'll go ahead and upload now. And we are done. So over in our object now that's returned, we'll take a look at YouTube in a moment. We have the file name as we'd expect. We have the URL, which is literally just the path to the YouTube video. So that's really useful. And of course we have an embed HTML. Now th this is great because all we need to do now is we don't need to mess around with creating the iframe beforehand. This is just YouTube's standard embeddable iframe. All we need to do is go ahead and place this on the page somewhere and we'll have that YouTube video there. But let's go over to my YouTube videos, give this a refresh. And you can see here, we have this video now. Perfect, we've uploaded it. We can go ahead and click on this and we can see this as normal. And that is pretty much as simple as it gets. We've given the ability to upload to YouTube very easily. All we've had to do is authenticate over on ClipChamp with our YouTube account. And then we can just switch that over on the ClipChamp button and our video gets sent off to YouTube. And of course, with the data you get back, you can do whatever you want with the URL that you receive back in that object as part of the on video complete or on upload complete method.